All you want to do is go to team practice facility and get an F grade. After you go through all those parks, you just want to quit the match. Simple. That's all you want to do. It's self-explanatory. You just want to make a new player. You want once you go to those little park games, you want to just quit out of all of them. Once you get to the team practice, make sure you just keep holding the ball, taking bad shots, not playing defense, and just get an F grade. Once you get that, your your stuff's gonna be on rookie. Unless you play park or pro am, your stuff's always gonna be on rookie. And I'm even gonna show you guys how to put it on one minute quarters. I'm even gonna show you guys how to do that. So GG. I'm telling you, you'll be able to get 90 overall in two days. You'll be able, you'll be able to get all your badges because you'll be playing out rookie one, rookie one minute quarters. Trust me, easy and it's simple. I'll pick it back up when they let me outside again. As you guys see right here, this is me getting the F in the practice facility. What's up, YouTube? No, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Them cutscenes are crucial, but when they're all done, it's worth it. So once you come back here. You should check your settings and you should have Ricky on. It's that simple. Simple as that. Remember, do not play a park game, do not play a pro am game unless you have PS Plus on this on your account that you're doing the glitch on or whatever. Then just make sure you you save your file from the beginning. So if you do play park or pro am, you can save it and then go back. Or if you don't want to do that, just I suggest just get a lot of hella badges, get to like at least an 89 any overall, then start playing park and program. It's that simple, bro. It really is. I'm telling you, you're gonna get 90 overall in two days. You're gonna, if you're a, if you're a shooter, like if your guy can shoot threes really good, like a pure sharp, or some something like that, you're gonna get even more XP a game. Trust me, bro. Trust me. By the way, bonus tip: when the agent asks you what Nike shoot, what shoe company to go with, go with Nike. Plus, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get 20 minute quarters or 1 minute quarters. Depending on what you guys want to go for. 1 minute quarters for badges, 10 to 20 minute quarters if we're just repping up. So, we're going to go to options, we're going to go to settings, and as you see right there, the game difficulty is on rookie. Simple. To me, the best way to wrap up, don't even do the 20 minute glitch, do the 10 minutes. Play rookie, play 10 minute quarters. That's the best way to wrap up. Because if you put it on 12 minute, even 20 minute quarters, you keep doing the same thing over and over, it's not going to be good. You put it on rookie difficulty, 10 minute quarters, I mean 10, 10 yeah, 10 minute quarters, you're going to get up to 70 to 80,000 XP per game, depending on how, on how many threes you make and stuff. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. So yeah, and the build I made for, for this tutorial, I already have a play shooter, but sharp playmaking. I have sharp primary, secondary playmaking. I made a shot creating sharpshooter. This is one of the best builds in the game. Trust me. I look at that offering. Amazing, amazing build. Anyways, let's get to the glitch. To get the one minute glitch is pretty much simple, bro. Uh, I, I, you just go to the team practice facility. You want to play all three of the drills. Once you play all three of the drills, you want to go to your My Player Lab. You want to change your layup. Say it's on like Lonzo Ball. Change it to like release nine or something. Uh, release eleven. Once you do that, you just want to save it. Back out. Once you back out, it's pretty simple. You just wanna you want to go to settings. If you want twenty minute quarters, you go once to the right. If you got one minute quarters, you go once to the left. It's that simple. I'm going to do these drills right now so you guys don't have to see it. And after I'm done, I'm going to pick back the video. Yo, so what's up, guys? I finally finished all three drills. So, yeah, once you finish all three drills, you press triangle. When you go to your My Player Lab, you just whatever jump shot you have, you want to change it to something else. Back out of that. Save it. Once you do that, you want to go to settings. It's as simple as that. Simple. So just put equip animations, 
gameplay moves, shots. What do I have? Lonzo ball. I'm just gonna switch it to jump shot 11 because that's a good jump shot. Jump shot 11, but just keep backing out. Save. That simple. See, my guy made a max wingspan, max shoulder width, weight all the way down. Whatever guard you make, always max their wingspan, shoulder width, and put their weight all the way down. Trust me. And if you're going to make a guard, make them at least 6'5 or taller. 6'5 or taller. Between 6'5 or 6'7. That's it. So after you do that, it's going to bring you back in. And from there, it should work. Sometimes it doesn't work every time, but if it doesn't work, just keep trying it. Press triangle. Go to options. Go to settings. And there you go. You press once to the right for one minute quarter, and I guess once to the left for 20 minute quarters. There you go. So now I have it on Ricky, one minute quarters. It's crazy, bro. This stuff is crazy. I can't believe 2K still hasn't patched it. Ricky, one minute quarters. I can play it right now. For the, the point of Ricky, one minute quarters is that you get a decent amount of rep within those one minute quarters, four minutes, and then you constantly play team practice games, so you're constantly getting your badges. But once you get your badges and stuff, you just put it Ricky 10 minute quarters and just keep repping up and getting 80, 70,000 XP a game. It's crazy, bro. So if you're thinking about making a new build or if you just get in the game, do this glitch and thank me later. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.